Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our video. We are on the ice. Did something different today. It's February 26th. It's the last day to target walleye, pike, bass in Minnesota. So I changed it up and I made the drive out to Mille Lacs Lake. We are on the big pond. Sunrise right now at 6.30 in the morning. Sun's about to come up as you see. So we're out here on the mud flats, north end, about 26 feet, and we're hoping for some walleye action today. Just got set up. Nothing beats driving out on the lake. Not quite on the spot that I wanted to. Wanted to go way out there, but the uh, drifts and the road ends here and the drifts are way too high for the truck to get through. Almost got stuck this morning. So I think we're gonna stop right here, find a little mud flat to sit on and we're gonna see if we can get some walleyes today. Stay tuned, let's get in the shack, let's get fishing and uh, let's get some walleyes today. Cheers. Mm. Nothing better than good hot coffee in the morning. Sun's about to come up. I suspect that between about 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock is going to be our prime time hour if we're going to get into some walleye here. So we're going to jig for about an hour, maybe about 8 o'clock when that sun's nice and bright. We'll get the underwater camera down, see what's going on down there. Hopefully by then we've already iced a walleye or two. You know, 7 to 9 is that prime time hour and that's when I wanted to make sure I was set up. Left my house about 4 o'clock this morning to get set up around 5.36. Looks like something's on the bottom. Could be marking our first fish. Yep, here comes something. Alright, here we go guys. I'm about to get hit. Be a walleye. Alright, we got this guy a couple feet off the bottom. Come on. Oh, he's going back down. Come on. Didn't like that. We'll see if he comes back, but pretty cool. It's been about 30 minutes. Sun finally broke over the horizon, and we just had our first fish come in. I know you guys couldn't see the flasher, but he came in, came up the bottom two, three times, followed me up, and we'll see if he comes back. We'll keep jigging. Here we go. Speed racer. Come on. Oh, he was just on. Oh, no, he was just on. Oh, yeah, he pulled my minnow head off. Shoot. All right, we got fish on the screen. I just lost my minnow head. I felt it come off. I just had a nice, nice hit. Not sure what it was. Could have been a walleye, but let's get back down there. Come on. Oh, he's still down there. Get back. Come take this. Let's see what you are. We might have to put the underwater camera down. I can't sit here and not know what these are. Probably some perch. Maybe some small walleye. Heck, could be some big walleye too. Just finicky. Got a couple of them down there. Coming up, checking the line. Kind of slowly going back down, which is a good sign of a walleye. Perch would kind of shoot back down a lot faster when they don't want it. It's time for the underwater camera. We're gonna go ahead and put that down in this hole and we'll be watching the baits. And I'm actually going to leave the flasher running too because out here on the mud flats you can get white fish and tulipy cruising through suspended so I want to be watching for something like that so we get an opportunity of any fish coming through to have a chance of catching it so let's get back to fishing got the underwater camera down that's kind of what we all want to watch anyways this lake does get the camera curse but I have got walleyes on camera so we're just going to keep jigging pound the mud hope for the best it's only 7 30 in the morning got all morning going to be out here till this afternoon and you know you'd think we should see some fish so Let's pound some mud, catch some wallies, and drink some coffee. So see you guys underwater. Oh, there's a perch. Hey, we go. Got our first fish on camera. I'm actually trying to get a new minnow down right now on the dead stick. Hey, take that. First fish to come through. It's only been a couple minutes. If we can get an elusive walleye to show up on the camera, that would just be amazing. We're going to grind it out and it's the last day why not right it's gonna be a beautiful day it was about negative two when I got out here so it's gonna be a high of 35 degrees so that's gonna kind of bring up the pressure hopefully these fish kind of cruise around and get moving looking for some food we can only hope you know Mille Lacs is 17 miles wide I don't know how many miles long and pretty much I'm out in the middle of nowhere hoping that fish swim through so only time will tell let's get back down there let's keep jigging and let's get the old elusive gator to come through Wasn't even watching, guys. Wasn't even watching. That was my fault. No, come back. Come back. Look at this, guys. Come back. Give me a second chance. Come back. Oh, no, guys. 
Oh no! That did not just happen. That did not just happen. Took my eyes off the camera for one minute and go figure that's the time Mr. Walleye decided to come through. I was just sitting here ripping it. Next thing I know I felt something pulling down, look over and that walleye just beelined it. And dang it! Very exciting to see, but bummer that should have been topside. I'll show you guys what I'm using here even though we haven't caught a fish. Got a perch colored Castmaster spoon, minnow head. Drop it back down there. Got him. What is this? Either a walleye, little tiny walleye, or a perch. Hey, monster walleye. So I made the two hour drive for it right there. Hungry bugger. Missed a 20 plus incher and we get a little seven incher. But either way, it's one top side. The future of Mille Lacs. Let's let that one go. He came in just hot and heavy. Come back, a little bit nicer one. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. <laughs> I don't even think I got him hooked. A little walleye right here. Man, some action yell coming through all of a sudden. Get up here. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> He's gone. I, didn't even, I barely even had him hooked, but hey. Went in for the grab. Let's get back down there. I guess it's feeding time. Here we go. This guy's hungry. Another, yep, another little walleye. Come back here, buddy. You're definitely hungry. Come on. <laughs> Look at this guy. Come here, buddy. Where's your big brother? You gotta eat the hook. No, not the spoon, the hook. Another walleye, though. That's like three and ten minutes. Just little guys, but hey, it's action. He was more interested in that spoon than he was uh, the minnow head. Another little tiny walleye. Man, they're Tons of them down there. Wish they had some size to them. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't even think I got a hook set on them. There's like two of them down there. And and he's gone. Just another little guy, but a walleye at that, man, for the last half hour, I've had, I don't know, probably half dozen or dozen of these kind of little guys coming through, and nothing of size, but definitely we're on the school of walleye. Wish they were uh, at least some decent size to them, but hey, I'll take any fish coming through right now. Got him. Yes. That's what we're talking about, guys. Look at this fish. Take your time. Take your time. You got off. No. No. It was at the hole. Oh. I swear, these fish. I'm just going to stick to bass fishing. This is ridiculous. How did he get off? Here we go, guys. Redemption. 
There we go. Okay. Come on, that's a nice one too. Come on, baby. Take your time. Good head shake. Oh, it's a big one. Yes. There we go. Redemption. Oh, yes. Finally, guys, got a decent one top side. Had a couple chances, and uh, I'll take this one all day. Here we go. It's noon right now, and man, we've had about four or five little guys come through. Had a couple opportunities at them nice ones, and finally got one come through, and Malax Gold. Let's let her go. All right, bye bye. Well, that was cool. Finally got one topside. Can't beat that. I got to get going home now. Kind of cool we finally got one topside last second there. Had a couple chances at some nice ones, but we did get in some walleyes today. Mostly small ones, but that was nice to get some Minnesota gold at the very end. Today's the last day of fishing walleye, pike, bass in Minnesota, but that doesn't mean the season's over. We still got a lot of ice here and some cold temps to keep the ice fishing going. We'll be targeting panfish moving forward. So hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned, and we'll just see you back on the ice. We'll be chasing panfish, so until then, take care. We'll see you back fishing.